So how long was it? How long was my boy lying in his own sick before you two realised he was comatose? You can't make us feel any worse than we already do. But if you'd been any kind of father, maybe he wouldn't have drunk himself half to death. Don't you dare preach to me. Oh, that's ironic coming from you. He could have brain damage because of you. Brain damage? <laughs> what? That's what the CT scan is for. But then you'd have known that if you hadn't been off grabbing a latte. Don't you dare shed your crocodile tears. You've known my son five minutes. I know you're upset, but don't speak to her like that. Not so quick to throw stones now, are you? Making out on the world's worst dad. All the time, dripping poison in his ear. I bet you were the one topping up his pint glass. We would never give a kid booze. Then how come my boy never touched a drop before he came into contact with you, Pear? We don't even have booze in the house. Do I look like a mug? It's true. Of course it is. Cos you're so moral. No, we don't have it, Colin, because I'm an alcoholic. Recovering alcoholic. She's been sober years. And you had the gall to lecture me on bringing up my son. <laughs> well, this all makes sense now. Sense? Her passing on a sickness. I'm warning you. If anything happens to him... It's going to be on both of us, yeah. I let him down. Well, you're right. And you have every right to be angry, OK? But you beat your son. You disowned him. And you ignored him when he was grieving. I'm just surprised this hasn't happened before, Colin.